Okay, in this project, I'm going to use my turn crafter lathe. And I'm going to make a game call. Because my very first comment on my new wood turning channel was make one of them game calls. So here you go, John, just for you. All right, let's start with getting the lathe set up. So I got this 5 8 inch mandrel. And I put a piece of uh, all thread in it so I could put it into the lathe. And then I got some nuts and washers to uh, hold it in place. Sorry about that. Half inch. All right, so this is the wood I'm going to use, and it's uh, European U. And I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw. It's two inches. So I'm going to cut a two by two blank about three and a quarter inches long, and I'll be back when I get it cut. All right, I have it drilled out and on the mandrel. I'm gonna use this little Allen screw to tighten the mandrel up so this thing is solid, it ain't coming off. And I got the lathe set to high speed, so all I'm gonna do is make this round. Once I get it round, I'm gonna decide on the shape. All right, so I'm getting the basic idea of what I want. And I got a basic shape and I have some cool features in it little knots here and there cuts I like it I'm gonna sand it up to 320 then use some uh, old uh, Yorkshire grit and then I'm gonna do an inlay here I'm gonna put a colored epoxy inlay probably gold I don't know, maybe some other color. I'll figure it out. I uh, decided to go with super copper. So I got some two-part epoxy. I got a little Dixie cup. I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. And then stir it up with this stick I found in the yard.
I want to get it stirred up. I'm going to mash it in that hole. All right, it's all mixed up. It's basically a paste. And you don't have to be super delicate, but you want to make sure all of the hole. Because you're going to turn it back off anyway. And you got to kind of go quick because it wants to run out the other side. So just keep turning it. Now this is the part here that's kind of tedious. You just got to keep turning. Keep spreading it. And if you see any bubbles forming, you need to pop them. I think this is five minute epoxy. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here and twist it around. Alright, so it's been about five minutes. It's not trying to run off anymore, but don't try to turn it yet because it'll gum up on your bit. So probably gonna have to wait. It's five minute epoxy, so give it a couple hours. And then it'll peel off of there really easy. Alright, this is what I like about this mandrel. I pretty much finished with the bell end, so I want to work on the mouthpiece, so that's something I could be doing while that epoxy is drying. You just loosen up the set screw, don't lose it, and then pull it off and reverse it. And it's still pretty true. While I'm waiting for that epoxy to dry, I got a crack that might be happening here and I don't want it to go anywhere, so I'm going to put a couple of drops of super glue thin, let that soak in. Got one here too. Got a hole right there, I'm going to leave it. It's not affecting nothing. Now when I get all of this finished and the mouthpiece done, I've got these little uh, reeds. This one is a little double reed. And I'm going to get my pocket knife and make sure it's got a little bit, a little bit of gap. Then I'm going to put this sleeve over it and then push it through this little uh, spacer. And then I've got it rigged up for my little pin vise where I can squish it into the game call because it's you can't really get it in there without some kind of mechanical force. Well, I spent a couple hours and I can't even scratch it with my fingernail. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Getting there. Alright, so I got it turned off and there's still a little bit on there, but I'm going to go through the sanding process again because I got to get this super glue spot here and here. So I'll be back when I get done sanding. Alright, I'm up to 320. I'm going to hit it with the Yorkshire grid next. 
a little OB on it. Shining now. Some of that shine will go away, so all you guys that hunt don't have to worry about the sun glaring off of it. Now right, let's take a look at it. And stick a reed in it, I'll show you. All right, so this is the mouthpiece in, so I'm going to put the reed in facing the mouthpiece. And I'm going to get it started. And I made a little copper push rod. And I got to draw it back. As far as I can. I might have to push it in a little further. Until I can get it in here. Alright. So now all I gotta do is just push it in. And we'll check it. It's about the right depth, so I'll put some pictures up at the end. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I had fun. I always do when I'm turning wood. Um, you can make game call any shape you want. There's a number of different reeds out there you can buy if you want to make a duck call or a rabbit or a jackrabbit or a coyote sounds or whatever. They have them, and most of them come with directions on how to do it. Or you can buy the whole kit. I used to buy the kits, but now I figured out how to do it on my own, and they got the right kind of mandrels and tools and so forth. So I'm glad y'all checked in. Uh, check back again. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of my projects, uh, ranging from game calls, bottle stoppers, pins, bowls. Made a nightlight the other night out of acrylic, so never know. Thank you.